today we are studying the different types of soil, such as the invasive species soil and the restored habitat soil. And we're going to take a look at the different types of nutrients that are in the soil, such as nitrogen and carbon and phosphorus. We're also going to take a look at how the germination of different types of seed in these soils can be affected. We're going to take a look at milkweed, lettuce, and sunflower seeds. An invasive species, such as kudzu, is a species who has come here from another country and taken over native habitat. They typically take up a lot of the resources and nutrients in the soil, and we're going to take a look at the carbon levels and phosphorus and nitrogen. To study soil nutrients between the invaded and restored habitats, we took soil samples from plots in each version. So we have two from the invaded side and two from the restored side. We basically took little samples in each one so that we could get rid of any differences between them. And then we put them in these little tins and then we sent them off to a lab for them to be analyzed for carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, and other element levels that may be helpful in determining our final results. The pH levels in the restored habitat were lower than in the invaded habitat and the phosphorus levels in the restored habitat were higher than in the invaded habitat. So for our second research question that deals with germination, in order to get results, we just basically took four different types of soils, two from the invaded habitat and two from the restored habitat, and then we planted different seeds in them to see how they would germinate and how basically successful they would be in that environment. So here we have lettuce, they're growing quite well. And we separated them out into five groups based on the soil type, and we used potting soil as a control. And here we have sunflower seeds, and here we have milkweed, which all would be native species to this habitat. The species germination in the restored habitat area was higher than in the invaded habitat, so it shows that the restored habitat possibly could be more fertile than the invaded. Some studies suggest that phosphorus levels in the soil, if they are higher, correlate with higher fertility. And this correlates with our study since we found that the fertility in the restored habitat soil was a little bit higher than in the invaded habitat. In our studies, we found that there were some significantly different levels in phosphorus and pH, but in other levels such as carbon and nitrogen, they weren't statistically significant but this could be contributed to the amount of time that has been um, between when the habitat was restored and now. It hasn't been that long, so it could be correlated with that. So our goal with our group at Georgia Tech in collaboration with the Atlanta Botanical Gardens is to see whether invasive species are actually bad for habitats and what we can do as a community to correct these errors and possibly make sure that our native species are actually present in populations so that they can be visible throughout the years.